Well, this is my Minecraft version of Resident Evil 1. My screen recorder was not working at all today, so I'm recording this with my phone. So in the beginning of Resident Evil, Alice wakes up in her pretty much shower, naked. So, in the first scene, she goes into her room, she finds her bed, then she thinks she sees a zombie, or something behind her. Because a statue had a cloth on it, and it moved. So she got pretty freaked out. So she goes into her room, and then she sees that her drawers are filled with weapons. But there's a tunic, or I guess dress, on her counter. Or her bed, actually. So she puts that on, a nice red dress. When she goes back into her room and whatnot, into her house... Then she goes out to this like outdoor walkway, then she looks outside, and then she gets freaked out by a bunch of leaves that kept rushing towards her. That's uh, foreshadowing the impending apocalypse that's about to happen. <laughs> so then, yeah, I didn't have any windows in here, but several, I guess, SWAT members, or star members is what they call them in the series, break in and pretty much take her and another person and yeah they take them down into the basement level and this other guy was supposedly a police officer just broke into her house and had just told Alice that they're coming something like that so then they go into their basement which was closed off pretty much by these big glass doors and they see all these things marked with the Umbrella Corporation symbol. And then they get to these tracks with a train on it and that train takes them to the Hive which is the center of research for the Umbrella Corporation. Let's just get to the end here. I originally made two separate things for this, but um, the first one I made wasn't very accurate according to the movie, and this one I tried to make uh, crap. Uh, this one I tried to make 100% exact scene by scene, and I've pretty much done that. I made I tried to make it as realistic as possible. If there was a door on the left and like a hallway and whatnot, I made it so that there was a door on the left. So right here this is another pretty much big room filled with umbrella corporation things and there are some doors that are closed and they can't open them so they go into this other area of the um, room and they manage to weld the doors off this and this is dark in the beginning until one star member goes in and finds a light switch and they see like a portrait of a city skyline and one of the main characters says I guess it makes it easier to work underground thinking there's a view so this is the best I could do with the view part so then they find an elevator which if you'd watched the very beginning of the movie you would know that it crashed down to the ground and it killed everyone inside it And, yeah, they throw a flare down. There's my flare down there. They don't fall down or anything. They just uh, freak out a little when it's all the way at the bottom. So then one of them says, looks like we're taking the stairs. <laughs> so, let's go down all these stairs. And then they reach several labs that were filled with water. Now, they don't see any bodies in it yet. But, well actually yeah, at the end of the scene, they do see one body just come up here, but they don't know that it's a zombie, they just see it's just a body, and then at the end of the scene it goes, <sighs> well that's after they all left. One of the various scary points in the movie. But, I think I'm going to make two parts of this video, because this isn't a 
very, very long sequence of stuff. So in here, this is the room with all of the uh, giant test, um, I guess uh, you would call like test tubes. They're enormous, and they have all these strange creatures in them. And you can barely see in them. There's like a little, or there would be a little glass thing right here, and you could see just the outline of a strange figure being fed by tubes and whatnot. So then... The star members and Alice go into this room and they set up their laptops and they try and hack into the Red Queen's room, which is blocked by this hallway, which I'll explain in a little bit. I don't know if it's before or after they go into that hallway, but anyway, Alice goes into this room. Alice is our superhero of the movie. She doesn't realize she doesn't have her uh, special abilities yet, but uh, she's still an extremely skilled fighter. So in here, they. She finds several, like, tattered dog cages. They're all ripped apart and bloody, and she doesn't see any of the dogs. But she goes in here, she walks around, and then one dog appears right over there. So, she doesn't know what to do, so she runs into this room. And, of course, there's a zombie right over here that runs at her and tries to eat her. So, she beats the crap out of him. He dies, and she tries to take his uh, gun, so she takes it, and the dog keeps knocking on the glass. Actually, no, the dog breaks through the glass, and then she knocks over a table, and it, like, falls on the dog. So then she walks out here thinking, oh, thank God, they're all gone, and then there's, like, six. So then, you know, bang, 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 bang. Kills them all, and then she forgets about the one last dog that's in here. So he comes jumping out here again. So then she runs, kicks off this wall, and then just kicks the dog in the face, and he flies into the wall dead. That was just an awesome scene, I think. So then back to the computer room. The, uh, I guess, the computer guy and the star team is able to hack open these doors. And three squad members go in here, and then some laser appears right here and cuts one of the... It moves from here all the way to the end and cuts one uh, member in half, and then one guy loses his hand. So then the laser turns off, and then it reappears. But this time, everyone tries to jump up. And the first guy, which is right over here, he jumps up, and the laser cuts right through him. And the final, the captain of the star team, jumps all the way up and grabs onto the ceiling, and it cuts open his knife. So then, you'd think, ah, I can do this now. I know where it's going. He tries to judge where it goes, and then the laser, just a line at first, comes over here, and then it makes this massive grid, and just slices him into pieces. And then Alice is throwing up when she sees that. Yep. So, in any case, everyone's back here. They're all crying like little babies. I guess anyone would if they were in that situation. But, yep. Everyone, the last Alice and uh, the uh, tech guy, they get into the Red Queen's chamber. If you don't know... If you haven't watched the movie, the Red Queen is this computer that looks like the owner of Umbrella's daughter. Or I guess the chairman of security, I forget what it was. But, yeah, she killed everyone inside because there was a virus and it got loose. Because, well, I'm not going to say, because that would ruin the movie. And the other five movies that are out. I can't wait for the next one. It's an amazing series. But yeah, they go in here to the Red Queen, and they restart her computer. But the last thing she says before they restart it is, You're all going to die down here. A really creepy voice. So I think I'm going to cut it here, and we'll get back to you next time. Thank you for watching.